This is a short video about using a Blue Yeti microphone with a Sony a6400 camera. I had been producing my videos with a uh, Logitech Brio and the Blue Yeti, and I had no problems. But eventually I decided to upgrade to a real camera, and I got a Sony 6400 for a variety of reasons, some related to YouTube, some not. And I got the uh, Rode VideoMic NTG to go with it, which I really like. I love the camera. I love the microphone. And everything was fine. And then I did a video where I had a mix of things I had shot on the A6400 and things that I had taken off the screen in OBS, and I put them together into a single video, and I was editing them in Premiere Pro, and I noticed that I had problems with the sound. The sound was different. It was a different quality. I had to edit the clips differently, and it was a real pain in the butt. And I also felt like the Blue Yeti had a, a I'm not an audiophile, so I don't know how to explain it, a fuller sound. It just sounded better. So I thought to myself, is there some way to use the Blue Yeti with the Sony a6400. So as I so often do in my life, I searched on YouTube, a6400 Blue Yeti. And I went through loads of, loads of videos and I went through probably about 10 and it all seemed like it was pretty straightforward. It wasn't really that hard at all. You needed your camera, you needed the Blue Yeti, you needed your USB cable from the Blue Yeti into your computer, and then you needed a uh, double-ended male 3.5-inch auxiliary cable. I said, no problem. I've got all those things. This will be simple. This will be great. So I hooked it all up, and it didn't work. So I tried different things, and I did everything I could do, and then I eventually I got fed up, and I just, I just gave up and went away before I lost my temper or you know, broke the camera and did something stupid. Anyway, I went back, I did another search on YouTube, and I found a bunch of new videos. So I watched all of them, and most of them just said the same thing that the others had done. But I found one, and he pointed out that if you do have a problem, make sure you got the right kind of 3.5 inch uh, male to male cable. And he explained you have your sort of standard cable, which is the one I was using which has two bars here on the, on the tip. And he said that might not work. What you might need is one, and he actually had it listed in the description, which is the one I ordered from Amazon, which has three rings on it. I mean, I'm sure there's more technical terms for these than rings, but you know, I, I don't know a lot of this technical stuff. So I, I ordered them. They came. I said, now I'm ready to go did everything I was supposed to do. The Blue Yeti was up and running. The light was, you know, solid red. Changed the settings as he had suggested. Turned on the camera, no sound coming through. So now I'm, I'm really upset. You know, I, I bought these cables, they're still not working. I'm gonna have to send them back to Amazon. What else am I gonna use them for? You know, and it, it, I, why can't I get this thing to work? There's gotta be a way, I must be doing something wrong. In any event, I went off, did something else for a while, and I was sitting there, I was thinking, what could I, what could possibly be wrong? You know, the thing's connected, it's got power, the light's on it, and everything. But then I realized something came to me, and probably this is something I should have thought about earlier, but, you know, um, I don't know a lot of technical stuff. And I, I guess that's why I'm making this video for people who are like me and don't know a lot of technical stuff. My Blue Yeti wasn't connected actually to the computer, it's connected to one of those USB strips, a powered USB strip, which is itself connected to the computer. So the Yeti did have power. Now, in all the videos I watched, and I must have watched 20, everybody said the Yeti gets its power from the computer. So that's all they ever said. And my Yeti had power. It was, the light was solid red, wasn't blinking. I know what that means, but it still wasn't working. But then something crossed my mind. Maybe the Yeti needs the computer to be turned on. 
Now, again, you're probably saying, what a guy's such an idiot, but that's okay. I don't care. I mean, that's what YouTube's for, to help fellow idiots. Maybe the YouTube, maybe the Yeti needs the computer to be on. Maybe there's something else it needs, or it needs to think, I don't know, drivers, or maybe it needs to think it's got some place to send what you're recording instead of to the camera, because it normally gets sent through like, the cable to the USB port to the computer. I said, maybe that's the problem. So I set it all up again. I went back into the room, set the whole thing up, plugged in the cables, no sound, turned the computer on. As soon as the computer came on, I got the audio bars on my Sony display. And that was the problem. It was simple. I just, I, I, I had watched, I must've watched two dozen videos. Nobody ever said, you know, make sure, make sure you, you plug it into the computer to get power. But it did have power. But I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who plugs peripherals into USB power strips. But basically, uh, the Yeti microphone will not work with a camera unless it's, it can be, it is plugged into my power strip, uh, my anchor power strip. But the computer has to be on and connected to the power strip for the Yeti to function. It's not just a question of power. The Yeti, the Blue Yeti is taking, getting something from the computer other than just the juice to make it run and it needs to be on. So that's the first thing. If you're, you're having problems trying to use your Blue Yeti with a, a camera, the first thing is make sure you're actually hooked up to a computer that's turned on. And the second thing is make sure that you've got the, the right kind of 3.5 inch cable that has the three black rings around it and not just two. It might work with two apparently, but it didn't work with my setup with two. I needed the, the three ring auxiliary cable. Anyway, this isn't a tech channel, but I'm just throwing this out there because I thought, I'm, I'm probably not the only person who has problems like this. And hopefully if somebody else sees this, uh, they'll get something out of it. Might save them some heartache, gnashing of teeth, pounding of desks with fists or something like that. You know, why won't this damn thing work? And it was so simple. It's got to not just have a power source. It needs access to the computer itself. I don't know if it's getting, like I said, I don't know if it's getting drivers or just thinking about where it's going to send stuff. Actually, just to be safe, when I power up my computer, I turn on OBS because that's where the, the Yeti usually sends a signal. It probably doesn't make any difference, but I feel more secure recording, thinking that the thing's not going to batch out on me or something like that. So hopefully, maybe I can help. I can help one person that's worth making this video. And this is my first experiment actually using the Blue Yeti working properly with my Sony A6400. So thanks for watching.